Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the photo slideshow template. To start, open Effect House and select photo slideshow. We're going to wait for the template to open up. And yeah, now the template is open. I'm going to show you how to use this template. So there are a couple of things to do when you open a template. Like the first thing is look at the tip and see what the tip is saying. So this template uses a visual scripting, so uh, you can customize the interaction using the visual scripting and you can preview this better on your phone. So what does this template do? So this, tem uh, this template uh, uses your user media texture, like the photos that you have on your phone, and you can upload them using this effect to create the slideshow as you see happening in the background. So let's see how we can customize this template and what does this template do. Uh, to start, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, uh, disable this UI so we can see it better. So you can see I have a couple of images that it applies the transition at the end of each image. So you can see it's uh, like a uh directional slide that's happening go up and there's a couple of different uh transition happening and to um uh, to see what are the customization first you need to open the visual scripting panel if you don't see the visual scripting panel you can click on the visual scripting on top left corner of the effect house and then visual scripting panel is going to appear here so in here, you can see there are a couple of customization that we can do. First thing first is enable camera move. As you can see, there is a, like a camera move happening on this screen, which you can disable it if you don't like it. So now you can see there is no more camera movement and photos gonna like transition to the other one. So I'm gonna keep it on. And then there is an amplitude of the camera move. So you can have like a way bigger value. You can see it, the movement is much, much uh, bigger and you can speed up the movement. So you can see it's really moving really fast. You don't want it, but uh, there's a custom customization here so that you can do it. And this camera move uh, applies some sort of zoom to the image so it can uh, like show the image full screen so you can have like much more zoom on your uh, image or less zoom. So I recommend to go with the point one and it's a good value for that. And the another uh, customization is how long we should wait on each image. Right now we're waiting three seconds on each image and go, go to the next image. So I can put it one, it's gonna be much faster. Cool. Now we're gonna go to look at the last one. I'm gonna put it back on three so we can see it better. Uh, so the last one, you can see we have an array of inputs here. So this array has a number. So this one represent the transition type. So if you look at the tip uh, in the hierarchy panel, so it says like the code of each transition in here. So zero means flashing transition. One means pulling transition. So if you want to have like only one transition, like for example, I'm just going to go flash. So it, from now on, it's going to just like go to the flash uh, transition for after each image uh, finish it's gonna flash in and go to the next image or for example you just want to do the directional move I'm gonna two which is a left directional slide so you can see it's gonna happen it's gonna only do that or you can mix and match so I want to do left and then I want to do right directional which is six so it's gonna play two and then play six and loop through this. So it's gonna go back and forth. So this is how it looks like. So you can queue up this as much as you want. So for example, I'm gonna start with the left transition, then I'm gonna do zoom in, which is five, and four, which is uh, four, which is pull out, and uh, let's do one up, which is three, and this is, uh, the list of the transition that I need. So see, we start with left and then five was zoom and four is pull out transition and three 
is a uh, up directional slide tra uh, transition. So you can see these transition in happening. So uh, now that we know this customization, I'm gonna talk to you about the user media. So right now, uh, I'm gonna close this so we can focus on here. So right now you can see we have uh, three user media in here. So what does this template do is just like look at the children and loop through this. So for example, if we add as an example, another screen image in here as a child of here, and I'm going to choose, for example, like I'm going to use environment texture, which is looks like that and set the field to uh, to fill the screen. So now you can see at the end of each image, it's going to go to that image. So it's going to like go through each image, uh, each children and then show them. So I'm going to add one more, for example, in here, like I'm going to find another built in texture in here, uh, like background texture. So you can see right now it's going to play the first one and then go to the second one, third one, and then it's going to go to environment map. And the next one is going to be the background texture. Cool. So you know how to add images in here, but if you want to add more user media, so you have to do an extra process. So let's try to add one more user media in here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go add one more screen image in here and put it as a children of uh, the user media pass rendered group. Cool. And I'm going to uh, call this new user media. So this is a new one. And to create a uh, user media texture, you click on the plus button and go to the texture and select user media texture. Cool. Now I have a user media texture, which the default texture is this, but you can definitely change it to any other uh, texture that you want. Like for example, you can use the background texture. I'm just going to keep this or I'm going to undo, keep it like that. Uh, uh, green checker mark background. Cool. Now that we have it, we're going to select it. And in here, what I'm going to do is select the user media texture that we imported. So let me rename this so we can remember it. So new user media texture and new user media texture. So now we added our image. There is one more step that you need to do to make sure the tool understands how many images you uploaded. So to do that, you go double click on the subgraph. It goes through this uh, big, uh, like a page with uh, lots of nodes in here. Don't care about it. This is like all the logics that control everything. But what we need to do is we go to the all the way left and in here, you can see a subgraph called check how many user media is uploaded. So we're going to double click on it again, go inside here. So what we're going to do in here is we just need to copy a set of these. So I'm going to select the, all these uh, items so I can, I actually want to make my screen bigger so you can see it better. So. You just need to copy the last uh, bottom section in here and place it in here. Cool. Now we need to connect this. So you can see number four, you drag and drop it, put it on reset. And in here, you drag and drop the number four and put it on enter. And then at the end, you connect this screen to the output. So you can see all of them like follows the same rule. Cool. And the last part is you connect the resolution to make array. So what you're going to do is press the plus button to open a new slide slot and you connect this here. So we're almost done. So now you can see like all the new row that we copied is following the same rule that the all other is doing. So what we're going to do in here Instead of like, you can see this is user media A, B, 
and C, and this one needs to be the new user media that we imported. And that's all. You just added the user media in here. So you can add more. So definitely if you want to have like 12 user media, you can just like duplicate and do the exact same thing for the rest of them and added them there. And then you have like 12 user media. So this is how you can customize this template. This template is really customizable. So you can do that. Cool. And then I'm going to show you. So after you're done, make sure to turn on the uh, UI to make sure the UI is there. So user understand that what they need to do. I'm going to show one last thing to you. Uh, this is like for more advanced usage of these templates. So if you double click on the subgraph, you can see the way that this template is designed is for each transition, we have a package in here. So we have a, like a flash transition package, pull in directional slide, directional and zoom in transition. So we have like seven different, uh, eight different uh, transitions as you can see here. So, but you can also customize this as well. So you can see if you double click on the, like a, for example, flashing transition, you can see the flashing transition contains bloom transition, zoom transition, distort transition and blur transitions. So uh, what I'm gonna do for now to show it to you. So I'm gonna uh, disable this and make sure we only have like a flashing transition. So flashing is zero. So I can show it to you. Uh, I'm going to go back, select the flashing. So you see there is a flash, but what if we don't want to don't want to have it, the flash? So what we can do is we just delete this. You can click on it and uh, or just like simply delete this. And then if you can make sure to connect the green uh, node to the, this green node, and now you can see there's no more flash in here. So it just uh, do this based on the zoom, uh, distort and blur. Or you can do the same thing to others. So if you wanna don't wanna have zoom, you can remove it. Or if you wanna change a value, like for example, right now the bloom start at 0.5 and go to zero. But what if you wanna start with a little bit of flash. So I'm going to put 0.1 and you can see the, like it's a tiny amount of bloom that it's happening. So you can apply it to all of them. Like for example, you can only have the blur for a transition if you want to have a, like a blur transition. So you can see it's going to be blurry. Go to the next one. So see how it's easy to create your own custom transition in this template. So I recommend you to look at the all other and see what packages are there to customize. Cool. Yeah, that's all. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this template and uh, please share what you create with us and see you in the next video. Thank you all. Bye.